Hello guys, now let's continue with the topic of emergency contraception. Guys, please concentrate this emergency. Guys, please is not for everyday use. Okay, just not like oral contraceptive pills. Okay, oral contraceptive pills can be taken every day. But emergency contraception is not for everyday use. They can be only used in the conditions of emergency. Okay, emergency conditions. What are the emergency conditions guys? For example, whenever there is a slippage or breakage of a condom. Okay, they are using a barrier methods of contraception that failed. Okay, breakage or slippage of a condom. Or a female a forget to take the oral contraceptive pills. Or there is a dislodgement of the diaphragm. Or she forget to take the diaphragm. Or she forget to take uh, to keep this vaginal sponge. Uh, I have already said that diaphragm is slipped out of its place. Or miscalculated safe days. Okay, she thought that it's a safe day. But she is participating in intercourse on, for example, a 16th day. Maybe ovulation is happening on the day. So, miscalculated safe days, you can go with the emergency contraception. Failure to practice a coitus interruptors. Okay, we have already seen what does it mean by coitus interruptors, guys. They are participating in the intercourse and the male is going to ejaculate outside the female body. Okay, that's the, what is coitus interruptors. And forced vaginal sex may be uh, seen in rape okay so in these emergency conditions a female can go with the option of emergency contraception now see i have shown you here lots of uh, famous brands but i want you to concentrate on this one word see uh, here this plan b or one step it's containing 11 or just or 1.5 mg 11 or just of 1.5 mg is seen okay and it's a emergency contraceptive and in this morning after pill here you can see this is also a emergency contraceptive here also 11 or just tablet of 1.5 mg is there and even the famous IPLs in India, here also you can see, I don't know whether you can see or not, here it was given 11 or just of 1.5 mg. So what you have seen here, guys remember the most commonly used like emergency contraception in most of the cases is 11 or just 1.5 milligram single dose, single tablet is enough, okay, to prevent the pregnancy from happening guys let's see some important points what is the mechanism of action so how this emergency contraceptive pills are going to work see this high amounts of levon or gestrel, which is a second generation progesterone will inhibit the ovulation they are sometimes spermicidal and sometimes even prevents the implantation okay so these are the mechanism of actions and sometimes like you know they are uh, making the cervical mucus thick Okay, sometimes that can also be a mechanism of action, but main mechanism of action, main, main mechanism of action is delaying the ovulation. After that, what is the most common method, guys? I have already shown you that most of the pills contain 11 or just 1.5 milligram single dose, single tablet is enough. Okay, or some, like you know, some recipes have a 0 0.75 a milligram. Okay, then you have to take two tablets. Okay, now. But guys, most common method is 11 or just 1.5 milligram. But most effective method of emergency contraception, especially hormonally, okay, this is a slight correction. Most effective method of hormonal contraception is it is Ulipristal, also known as Yella. Okay, Ulipristal, 30 milligram single tablet, enough emergency contraception achieved. Okay, this is the most effective hormonal contraceptive, hormonal emergency contraceptive, okay, which is not available in India and this can be taken almost uh, 120 hours after the unprotected sex. Usually, usually emergency contraception should be taken within the next 72 hours after unprotected sex, okay. It will be best as like you know just take it as fast as possible okay just take it as soon as possible don't let it okay don't make it late this emergency contraception can work before 72 hours after 72 hours lot of chances of failure may happen okay but this ulipristal it can work almost 120 hours post unprotected sex okay and that is not available in india anyway 
But if someone asks you, most effective method of emergency contraception is? Guys, so far we are discussing hormonal emergency contraceptives, levonorgestrel, ulipristal, these are hormonal emergency contraceptives. But direct point is most effective emergency contraception. I'm not asking whether it's hormonal or whether it's like, you know, barrier, no. Most effective method is copper TIUCD placement. Okay, if a female is having uh, an unprotected sex by mistake, okay, now if she don't want to have a, a pregnancy, then she can go for the, uh, like, you know, intra uterine contraceptive device placement with the copper T. Okay, now, what's the overall risk of getting pregnancies after taking this emergency contraceptive pills? After taking this emergency contraceptive pills, there is a chance of 8%, okay, almost 8% chance is there that this emergency contraception might go wrong, okay? Now, what are the other contraceptions which are available, guys? Guys, other contraceptions include Gossipol. Guys, this Gossipol, it was discovered in China and it was extracted from a cottonseed oil. See, this is known as a male pill. Why? Because this is going to act in a male. Male is going to take this and this inhibits spermatogenesis. So far, the contraceptives which we have seen, either they are inhibiting the ovulation, they are inhibiting the sperm movement, like, you know, sperm, uh, like, you know, sperm ascent, or they are inhibiting the implantation. But for the first time, we are seeing some contraceptive agent which inhibits the spermatogenesis. So, Gossipol is known as a male contraceptive pill. Now, let's see some important points about Centchroman. Guys, the Centchroman is a non-steroidal contraceptive. See, so far we have seen oral contraceptives, uh, like which contains estrogen, progesterone. See, it's all the right combination of estrogen and progesterone. Estrogen and progesterone, they are steroids. But which contraceptive is a non-steroidal contraceptive? It's a Centchroman. Uh, it's a, the active component of it is ormiloxafine and it was developed by CDRI Lucknow, India. Okay, the, what is the mechanism of action guys? It prevents the implantation by making out of phase of the endometrium. Okay, this ormiloxafine is going to act on the uterine endometrium and makes it out of phase so that there won't be any implantation. And the Synchroman is available with the two trade names Saheli and Centron. These are the trade names for the Centchroman. After saying that, let's see some important single liners which are important for the exams. Most common method of contraception used by couples in India. Okay, so most common method of contraception used by couples of India is is it OCPs, is it barrier method, or natural family planning methods, or IUCDs? What? It is barriers. The two Condoms. Okay, condoms are the most common methods of contraception used by the couple in India. Now, what's the best method for couples staying far? Okay, uh, for example, if the female is in India and the male partner is in Dubai, for example, in the uh, Arab countries, only he is going to visit her for one month in the entire year. So they are staying far from each other. So whenever they met, if they want to use a uh, one best contraceptive agent, what is that? She should take oral contraceptive pills see oral contraceptive pills should be taken every day so that's not desired here why because for most of the time the partner is not available so don't take oral contraceptive pills does she take progesterone injections no they can simply use barrier methods of contraception why because sometimes whenever he came okay use the barrier method of contraception after that throw it that's it okay so barriers are the best method of contraception for couple staying afar. Now, best method for newly married couple. So is it oral contraceptive pills or like barrier methods or progesterone injections or mini pills or intrauterine contraceptive devices? Guys, as they are a married couple, let them experience how it feel. So like, you know, they, even if you give or like, you know, suggest them to use condoms, they won't use. Okay, let them experience what they should experience. So for the new couple, it's a advice to take the oral contraceptive pills so best method for newly married couples is oral contraceptive pills not the condoms okay most of the students will think it's condoms no it's the oral contraceptive pills okay i hope uh, the topic is helpful so now we have completed the chapter in uh, sorry uh, contraception okay guys thank you